Hello and welcome to episode 4 of series 3 of Become a Legend Story Mode. And before we get into the games today, and we do have Antwerp in the league, and we're away from home as well. Antwerp will be coming up in a second. I guess that's a local derby, as we'll see in just a few seconds. And then we have we have them in the Crookie Cup. Moving through to the semi-finals would be a massive achievement for Waslam Beveren. Uh, I've heard Waslam Beveren are perennial relegation fighters. They are not a big side. So I think actually Eggy's been a good, good signing for them. I think he seems to be, perhaps, maybe the catalyst for their turnaround. And a move through to the semi-finals of the Crokey Cup, that would be huge for them. But as I mentioned, yes, Antwerp, interesting. It's an away game today, but not a long trip. And uh, I've been thinking about Eggy. Obviously in the last episode we had a look at maybe his mosque, his local mosque. We were happy to see there was one. There's actually plenty in the area, so I'm not too concerned about that. And then I thought, well, Eggy's a long way from home. He's going to need somewhere nice to live, but he's not going to want to live with all due respect to the inhabitants of uh, Wasland and Beveren. I don't know about Wasland, is that a place? But Beveren definitely is. It's not a huge place. And I think Eggy would be better suited living in very nearby, and this is why I mentioned Derby Game, uh, very nearby Antwerp, a beautiful city by all accounts. And somehow Eggy's agent, Dusan Bogdanovich, has managed to secure him a 565,000 euro yearly salary, which is massive, especially considering the average wage for a Belgian league footballer is only 253,000, which is pretty high anyway. The Belgian league is fairly highly rated. I think it's in the top five or six in Europe, but that's a lot of money. But Eggy is doubling that average salary. Now, I don't want to see there's any corruption going on at work here, and I don't want to blame Dusan Bogdanovic. don't want to say he's doing anything shady, but that is a lot of money for a just-turned 18-year-old. But Wasland are looking to turn themselves around, and he could, as I say, be the catalyst for that. What that does mean is Eggy has a lot of cash on the hip at the moment, and that actually would allow him to go for a house with a mortgage value of at least £2 million, maybe even a bit more. Um, but we're not going to spend that much. We're going to be fairly conservative with his money. I imagine he'll want to send quite a lot of it home to Indonesia. Uh, but I have been looking for flats for him, and that's why I mention Antwerp, our local rivals. Because although Beveren looks okay, I think really he wants to be living in the city, and Antwerp is a beautiful city. And I've tracked down this lovely little two-bed apartment for him in central Antwerp, very close to a lot of big museums, near the river. It looks lovely. And for €360,000, reduced as well, I think it'd be a bargain. Perfect first home for him. Uh, and he's right in the, in the hubbub, right in the centre of Antwerp. And I think that would be great for his integration into Belgian life. So, pretty pleased for Eggy. That's his first proper house, obviously, at 18 years old. It's going to be a bit of a lonely place. Hopefully he makes some friends. We'll, we'll talk about that in future. But I'm, I'm pretty pleased for him. Pretty pleased. Putting some of that money to good use, but I imagine as well. Saving a lot of it, keeping it back for his family. He's a good guy. He's a good guy, Eggy. Anyway, with that out of the way, Eggy is settled in his new home, counting all of his money, and then, as I said, luckily, not a long trip today for Waslan Beveren. I don't know if Antwerp and Waslan Beveren are actually rivals. Waslan Beveren is a club. It's sort of an amalgamation of a couple of old clubs. So they might not have that history there, but they're very, very close. I mean, they're within 15, 20 minutes drive of each other. As we know, Eggy's starting on the bench today. A sideways arrow for him. We'd like to get on. And uh, we'd like to put behind us the last episode, which we know was poor. Uh, we know we did a few things right. We did a lot of things wrong. As a lot of you pointed out, we did nowhere near enough playmaking. And that has got to be our role. So if we do get on... Then we've got to try and set up Ampoma and Forte and uh, not be worried too much about scoring goals. Although we're in a position to score a lot in the last episode. So uh, if that arises, we've also got to take our chances. The other advice from a lot of the commenters has been just bloody whack it. Well, we will. We're just going to power it. Let's go. So things are starting to make a little bit more sense now in this story for me. Now I know that Eggy is actually on a very, very good salary for the league. Clearly the Waslam Bever and uh, board and manager have big, big dreams for him. He's obviously not started at the pace they would like, which is why he's on the bench. And then also we have to remember that Waslam Beverend are not a good team. So they are, they're investing in Eggy, but also they're taking a risk. Maybe it hasn't paid off for them so far. And he's benched today by Ferreira. Can he get on and make a difference? We need to, uh, we need to show our worth, play our way into this side. Come on then. Wow, that was bad. That really, really felt like I was watching a Sunday league game. There were balls in the box, balls in the air, but nothing actually happening. No chances at all. Passes misplaced, mistakes made. All it was missing was a dog on the pitch. This is crying out for a bit of Eggy Milana victory quality. Come on, it's got to be a second half sub appearance. Let's go. And it is, and that's always the good thing about a uh, very, very poor first half, is that you'll often get 45 minutes. Eggy instructed to drop a bit deeper, and he does here, and he'll get to this one. Shields the ball. Has to beat his man. Oh, he's done him for pace. 
Cuts back. Oh, that's lovely. And again, puts the ball into the box. Looking for Forte. Not the best ball in the end. Oh, that's a nice ball to Ampoma. Now Forte holds it up. Eggy can't resist the piercing run. The ball down the line is available. This is well worked. Square ball in now to Ampoma. That's good defending. Better though. Ball in here for Antwerp. Balingi jumps for it. Eggy could get to this. And he will. Lovely first touch. And now he's away. He's got options. Goes inside to the central midfielder. Centre forward will move it on. That's nicely worked. Eggy desperately trying to stay on side here. The pass doesn't come. And we've lost all attacking impetus here. Now Eggy in a bit of... Oh, that is awful. Nice work from Antwerp here. As Lamkul takes it wide. Into Haroon. Oh, it's cut out. Oh, a lovely first touch from Eggy there as we look to break. Moves it on as he's absolutely clattered there. But he'll get back up as the ball's put over the top. Oh, and it's a great first touch from the striker. Eggy's there with him. The ball across the box is a poor one, but a cut back inside now. Could find Eggy. Oh, my God. Straight at the keeper. No, no. That was an excellent opportunity. I didn't think the ball was coming through. I'm surprised we got to it at all. That was a big, big chance. Ah. Oh. Bolingi turns. There's an overlap here. Lamkul into Bolingi. Little chip ball in. It's dealt with just about. And now Ampoma. The layoff into Eggy. He can turn. There's players to release here. We're bombing on. This is nice. Two minutes left in this game. Ball goes. Oh, you've got to keep that in, you fucking imbecile. Well, I want to blame the uh, rest of the team today because Eggy's been okay. Oh, the right pass here can find the striker. Oh, he can't find anything else, though. And this is going to be game over here. Some more points dropped for Waslam Beveren. It's a good ball out, though. The ball into the box now can find Eggy. Oh, it's kept going. Somehow we've still got it. Oh, we've got a corner. One final chance here. Seconds left in this one. And Eggy's showing for it short. Cuts back. Puts the ball to the edge of the box. It's played back in. No, that's not worked. It's chipped in. <laughs> and that's going to be game over here. Unless we can recycle this one. No. No. Yes. Yes. No. And that's it. Well, Eggy had one half chance in that. And a couple of big mistakes coming on at half time. Certainly didn't do any better than he has in previous games. It will be a surprise to see him start in the next one after that performance. It was a poor, poor showing from both sides. Maybe it was a local derby. Maybe everyone was just a little bit worried about making mistakes. Eggy does come on and gets a 6.5. That's encouraging at least, especially with a lot of fives in the starting 11. It's still nowhere near good enough. But six games into the season, we'll definitely take the point, and that sees us still in seventh place. Only four points behind second place St. Truden and uh, six points behind Genk at the top of the league. Ah, we're, we're okay. We're all right. We're struggling a little bit for goals. So one goal in nine appearances for Eggy so far. I mean, there's not been many minutes. It's not been nine full games. But still, we would have liked to have done better. Surely a start now in the Crokey Cup. It's where we can find our shooting boots again. I mean, we've only scored one goal, so we do need to find at least one shooting boot. But we do start. That is positive. Let's get into it. Behind Forte again, sideways arrow, Impoma to our left is on a blue. We'll try and use him a little bit more. Let's go. So here we are under the lights. This is another away trip to uh, Krochuk. I, this, I'm not even close to knowing how to pronounce this one. And am I professional enough to go and look that up? This isn't the BBC. I'm going to go with Krochuk. Krochuk. I'm not even really getting a feel for how you formulate words in Belgian. It's a little bit French, isn't it? But not 100% not French. Anyway, what we do need today is Eggy to score. And to uh, put this two-legged tie to bed early on. Let's go. Oh, Eggy was aware of that one. He's away from his man. That's beautiful. Into the box now. Can you get them off the mark here? Oh, that's not good finishing. Oh, everything up to it was so good. He anticipated the pass perfectly. Lovely step away from the number four. And then through on goal. He's under a little bit of pressure. That was just a side foot finish necessary. He had plenty of goal to aim for. Oh, God, that's... Come on, Eggy. I'm poming out. Ball into Eggy. That's lovely. Sees the chip. Ball into Forte is on. And Forte, yes, puts it away. And Eggy makes amends for the early miss by picking out the big number nine with a perfectly weighted ball. And that is a lovely counter-attack from Waslin Beveren. Incisive. And Poma, lovely ball into Eggy. Great first touch. Saw the run. 
Perfectly timed and weighted pass. And what a finish into the roof of the net. And we're off to the perfect start here. Eggy has looked sharp so far. And he's just poked that in with the outside of the left boot. And that is a great finish. Lovely work. Forte, ball into Eggy. Oh, he's got options here. That's a lovely bombing run from the left back. He's into the box. He'll hit this one. Oh, side netting. Selfish, perhaps. But it all opened up for him. And that was thanks to the great running of his teammates. And Poma going one way. He had the left back overlapping. He had Forte making a great run as well. He had every right to hit that one. Just couldn't quite get it on goal. Space here for Eggy in the centre if they can find him. That ball will find him. He's away from his man. Just about finds the ball into Ampoma. A return ball into the winger. He's the wrong goal. Eggy's there. Ah, oh, couldn't cut it back. But again, great play. Eggy and Waslin Beveren starting at a great pace. That's going to be the first corner of the game here. And it's Eggy over this one. It's on set piece duties today. The outswinging corner is dangerous. Ampoma's there. Mistake from Rolland and now Eggy. Steams forward. He's got Ampoma to his left hand side. Uses him. It's back into Eggy. And that's good defending. It's unlucky. Lovely interplay though between Ampoma and Eggy again. Eggy calling for it here. It's a chip ball in, looking for Forte. It's dealt with. First corner off the opposition here, whose name I'm not even going to try and pronounce. It's going to be Van der Bruggen to whip one in. On the right foot, Chevalier jumps for it and he headers over the bar. That's the first chance for them in this game. The home side not really been an issue yet for Wazen Beveren. That's maybe a sign that we need to be aware of them, especially from set pieces. Eggy. Takes it down. Oh, that's lovely. Away from his man. He's got time to look out and whip a ball. dangerous ball in. And Forte saved by the keeper. Another good effort there. Eggy looking very sharp. Forte looks for the header on. Wins it as ever. Eggy's made a great run here. Ball inside to him. Oh, and Poma. You're not meant to get to that. Eggy's still got it. Oh, he's done him. Low ball in. is blocked. Oh. It's to take on Roland for pace. Oh, lovely play away from Van Loo. Puts the ball into the box for Forte. Oh, Eggy is providing so many chances today. Just not quite able to put them away. He's put two or three now on a plate for Forte. But he did get the first one in the 10th minute. And Eggy has looked excellent by far his best game so far. Keeps going to the second half. Hopefully I'm not too tired to do the full 90. Got to get a goal to add to this great assist. Eggy's first assist for Waslin Beveren as well. It's taken a long time coming, but hopefully it's just the first of many. Quali now. It's been their danger man, but that's very easily cut out. And let's not make any mistakes here. Let's get the ball away. Looking for Forte, who's been an excellent presence. All game, and Ampoma is found by Eggy. Three on three now in the box. Ampoma can cut it inside. No, 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 no. Come on. You're better than that. Another header one there, and Ampoma will slip in Eggy. He's there with Kamordzi. Very tired. Steps back inside. Squares it. It's a great ball. No, oh, you've got to do better than that. Forte is fouled on the edge of the box. Surely a free kick opportunity here. It could be Eggy to take this one. He's very good from set pieces. And it is. Can we curl in our first free kick? That would be a perfect way to end this game. We've got to go this way. I'm not great at these. I reckon about there. Just over the wall. Oh, off the bar. <laughs> no. So close. What a great way to finish this game that would have been. And that is going to be full time here in the Crokey Cup. And we get a great away win to start off this two-legged tie. And it was Eggy with his first assist of the season that created the goal for Forte. Had chances throughout the game to seal this one. Eggy looked good. He looked strong all the way through. It's his first full 90. And very narrowly missing a free kick opportunity just off the bar. That would have been perfect to seal this one. But he gets a 7 and that's great. Forte with a 7.5. He deserved it. He was great. Won every single header. Love playing with him. And all in all, a pretty good performance here today. I think Ferreira will be impressed with this one. And that puts us in a good position to uh, move through into the semi-final, where we'll be playing either Ghent or Ustend. Uh, Ghent, obviously, top of the table. They're looking very solid this season. Uh, that's an assist. There we go. One goal, one assist, 10 games. That's okay. 5.9 average rating. Be good to be 6 at this point. Uh, explosive power's just gone up. His finishing's got up to 72 he needs that because he's missed quite a few big chances. And the manager has responded well to that good performance. And we're in the starting lineup again today for the second round in the cup. And that is our 10th appearance in the first season. Let's just get into it, shall we? And we'll play this final game of the episode. Let's see if Eggy can get on the score sheet in this one. Let's see if we can see this tie out into the semi-finals 
of the Belgian Cup would be great. Got Ndao ahead of us today. What's he like? He's a little bit quicker, a little bit more of a goal poacher. Should be interesting. Boljevic to our right-hand side. It's pretty quick as well. And Poma still on a blue arrow. Right, let's get the goal. Well, we did what we set out to do. We've got our first assist. And uh, Eggy just needs to be uh, making the right decisions. When the time comes to make a, a late run into the box, score a goal, we've got to make that decision. And then also, we've got to be aware that sometimes it would be better to drop a little deeper. Just to get a better view of play. Thread some through balls into the uh, more attacking players. But we'll find that balance. It's still very early on. We're still a young player in a new side, in a new league. But I think we'd be looking great so far. Lovely ball into Eggy. Lovely flick. One more ball now. Oh, oh, oh that's a foul. Edge of the ball. Ref, ref, referee. Absolutely clotheslined him. That is a stonewall free kick. Nicely worked here from Beveren. And a bit of space for the right winger. Eggy wants it. Little move ball into him. Oh, Eggy steps away. Onto his left. Oh, and that's a great block. But lovely work there from Eggy. Really nice play from Wasden Beveren. The yellow and blue is looking excellent today. Little tip off into Eggy. He turns away well onto his favoured left. And that is last ditch sliding defending to prevent the first goal. It will be Eggy over this corner. We've gone a little bit wide so far. We'll try and keep it a little closer to the keeper. That's too close. Oh no, it's nearly not. And they'll have an effort here. Oh, it's fired back into the box and they do get it away. Beveren win it back. Lovely back heel there. Into the striker. Didn't want that there. And we've been fouled again. Come on. Eggy getting some rough treatment today. Oh, nice. Azagun. Will he put a ball in? Takes his time. Plays a short one. It's cheeky. Almost worked. Can we now hit him? And Poma will bring it forward. Eggy's made a great run through the centre. And there's a lot of space for him if they can find him. And they can. Eggy now. Has to take on Kamordzi. Oh, he's won that back very easily. It's good defending. Half-time nearly upon us. That was another great opportunity. And that is half-time here in the Croaky Cup. And it's been poor. It has been poor. Half-chance for Eggy. Made it himself with some great footwork. But other than that, no real efforts from either side. We need to see more in this second half. Come on. Oh, ball's laid off inside. Oh, it's not dealt with. Lapointe can move it out to Stjanovic. Oh, and that's a big header. Big defensive header. Oh, and that's awful. Straight into the feet of Eggy. And now he's through. The new centre forward is on the pitch. And that's chipped perfectly over the top. He's the other side of Kamordzi. And he's done very well. He's an excellent defender, this big guy at the back. Shut Eggy down on a couple of occasions already. And uh, our striker looked to be through there, but he just couldn't get away from the athleticism. Azurgun with space here. 60 minutes gone. He can put a ball into the near post and Boyo gets it away. And as far as Azuni though, they'll play it back in. Van Brunbruggen. Oh, and that's cut out. And now Eggy. Opportunity here. And Poma making a good run to his left-hand side. He's got to make the right choice here. Goes into the striker. Lays it off into Ampoma. This is well worked. Sees the run inside. And that's a great effort and a good save. And a lovely bit of counter-attacking football. Waslan Beveren so dangerous on the break. And those were some well-thought-out passes. Eggy spotted the runner from deep on the right-hand side. Got the shot away. Forced a good save. That could be Eggy off the pitch now, though. I think that's probably our time done here. And yes, it is. That's unfortunate. 63 minutes gone. We were very, very tired after the full 90 in the last game. And only three days ago. Disappointed not to affect this game. Oh, and Vanzo seals it. And that is us through. No doubt about it. And that's a great goal from the substitute striker. And Poma does really well. Lovely little cut pass. And Vanzo just stayed on side. Good ball into him. And the number 10. Unerring finish. Straight down the centre. Keeper maybe should have done better. That's us through to the semi-finals. Looking good. And there we have it. A lovely, lovely 1-0 win. Just to seal this in front of the home fans. And we're through to the semi-final. Great work. Not so good for Eggy. He wasn't great today. But it's going to be softly, softly or slowly, slowly catchy monkey for Eggy. We got an assist and we got a full 90 in this episode out of the three games. Uh, that's all we can really ask for. Although starting this game and not getting anything is, is a bit of a low point. We went through, so it's fine. And we got a six, which is okay. It's okay. And it looks like we'll be playing Oostend in the semi-final. They overcame Ghent. That's a great result for them. So join me on Thursday as we go up against Club Bruges. A massive, massive game in the league. They're one of the top sides. And we start again. This is starting to look good. This is starting to look like Ferreira has now got a bit of faith in us. But it's two big games in a row. It's Club Bruges and then top of the table, Ghent. What can we get? If we can get anything out of that, 
even three points I would say would be a huge success, or even two points even. Anything more than that would be a massive bonus. Join me to see how we get on in that one. It looks like Eggy might be starting, and potentially that means a permanent start for him as our manager trust starts to creep up. Things are looking better. Eggy has shown some absolutely incredible skill, uh, some poor finishing at times, but he's definitely starting to get a feel for the runs and the movement of his teammates. Starting to find them a bit more. Assists and goals will surely come. I'll see you in a bit.